Streaming live now on News8000.com. You're watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now at noon. Good afternoon and thanks for watching News 8 Now. I'm Michael Germain. Alexandra is off today. The City of Lacrosse has announced that the brush waste and yard site will be closed over the Labor Day weekend. According to a release, the compost and wood chip piles will also be closed during this time. The site will reopen for regular hours on Tuesday. A lacrosse golf course is looking to honor former caddies with their new pavilion project. The land where Forest Hills Golf Course lies today has a rich history of the sport, and their new pavilion project is looking to recognize it. The course has been around for over a century and was formerly occupied by the Lacrosse Country Club back in the 1920s. In decades following, caddying was a popular first job for teenagers. The names of many have been lost with time, and the course is asking the public to reach out if they know a former caddy so they can be featured on a plaque in the pavilion. All of these people that I talked to, men and women, they had nothing but great memories and great stories to say and fond memories of how this helped formulate them as an individual and help them become a successful adult. Clements is asking anyone with names of former caddies to reach out to him through the email address at the bottom of your screen within the next month. You can also find it on our website, news8000.com. Get ready for an exciting weekend of events in the Cooley region in Chippewa Valley. Jam out at the West Salem Care Street Dance Fundraiser on Sunday. Check out the live music, raffles, activities, and a battle of the businesses relay challenge. There is no cost to attend. Cars are speeding off Saturday at the Lacrosse Fairground Speedway for the Big Cheese Enduro 200. The race starts at 7 and goes for 200 laps, so check out who makes it to the end. Watch racers take the track or run to support the cause yourself at the Buckshot Run Races in Eau Claire at Carson Park. 100% of the money raised supports Wisconsin's Special Olympic athletes. All right, getting into your local weather again, we start off here getting into the possibility of a little bit of fog that got out of the way. We get into some clouds now that are gradually clearing, getting into mild conditions today from 76 to about 81 degrees or so. Labor Day weekend's looking really nice. It's going to be mild and cool. That rainfall's getting out of your way, as you can see here, slowly but surely. And, of course, we dry it out, and we're going to lose the humidity as well. Oh, Claire, you've got the sunshine already. We expected that. 73 degrees at the 1 o'clock hour continuing to 5 o'clock. How about this though? We go to lacrosse. You're looking at mostly sunny skies to start. Then eventually you'll get into about partly cloudy skies around 2 o'clock. We'll fluctuate the cloud cover getting back into sunshine by 5 o'clock where temperatures are going to pop up to about 78 degrees. Here are your highs for the day. If you just want to take a look here, you're looking at 76 to at least uh, getting into about uh, say 78 degrees or so, maybe near 80. And then once you get into how this all plays out, uh, it feels like it's about 77 degrees once we get in the 2 o'clock hour. I'll come up and have your forecast just a bit. Please stick around. We'll be right back. Art, thank you for that. With only 67 days until Election Day, both nominees for president are working to clarify their stances on hot button issues. CBS's Natalie Brand is in Washington with the details. Let's be clear. My values have not changed. In her first major interview as the Democratic presidential nominee, Vice President Kamala Harris was pressed on some of her policy shifts over the years, including signaling during the primary in 2019 she supported a ban on fracking. No, and I made that clear on the debate stage in 2020, that I would not ban fracking. As vice president, I did not ban fracking. As president, I will not ban fracking. It's an issue central to voters in Battleground, Pennsylvania, where former President Donald Trump holds a rally later today. The Republican ticket has also slammed Harris and President Biden for record crossings at the southern border last year. Harris was asked in a CNN interview about how her views there have changed. I believe there should be consequence. We have laws that have to be followed and enforced that address and deal with people who cross our border illegally. The Republican nominee is facing questions from conservative groups about his own evolving stances. In an NBC News interview, Trump suggested Florida's six-week abortion ban is too restrictive. I think the six week is too short. Uh, it has to be more time. With Harris holding a sizable advantage among female voters, Trump appears to be looking for ways to cut yeah, into that lead. Statement. He made this and announcement on Thursday. Your government will pay for or your insurance company 
will be mandated to pay for all costs associated with IVF treatment. Tonight, Trump speaks to the conservative group Moms for Liberty. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Washington. Trump's abortion comments created a stir within his own campaign. Florida is voting on a ballot measure to expand access. The campaign released a statement saying Trump hasn't determined how he will vote. Still ahead, acing your interview. A job expert joins CBS Mornings offering advice on leaving a good impression. Refresh your space with a mid-century makeover at Ashley. During the Labor Day sale, discover statement pieces starting at $499.99. Plus, get 0% interest for five years on in-store purchases. No minimum purchase required. Shop more deals in-store and online. Life has become too expensive. Groceries and gas have gotten out of control, and red tape is killing the economy. But fortunately, our Congressman, Derek Van Orden, is fighting for solutions to make living more affordable for us in Wisconsin. He's advocating for common sense bills that would make everyday items like gas and groceries more affordable. Now, Congress has an opportunity to lower costs by cutting red tape. Tell Congressman Van Orden to keep working to lower costs and support the Red Tape Reduction Act. It's only paint. It's only paint that comes in an award-winning twist and pour container. It's only paint that can cover the brightest shade of orange known to mankind in just one coat. It's only paint that will inspire you to write your masterpiece. It's only paint that will help you become TV's hottest writer, where one day you'll meet this guy who starred in that thing. So yeah, it's only paint. Only easy opening, smooth pouring, change your life both professionally and romantically, paint. Collector car into cash. Remlinger Collector Car Auctions is now taking consignments for its fall auction on September 27th and 28th in Winona, Minnesota. Visit RemlingerAuctions.com to consign now and maximize your earnings. Early consigners receive the most exposure to our eager pre-qualified bidders. Reserve your spot today and join the excitement. Remlinger Collector Car Auctions, where every car has a story and every bid is an adventure. My cancer drugs, $1,800 per month. My hospital bill for a heart attack, $241,544.18. I'm Rebecca Cook. My parents are like a lot of folks hit hard by sky-high medical bills. And with hospital closures, access to care is an even greater challenge. So what does Derek Van Orden say? Destroy Badger Care, gut Medicare, deny women reproductive care. I'll fight for affordable health care. Derek Van Orden won't. And that's why I approve this message. Go get a money. Labor Day mattress deals are happening now at Ashley. For a limited time, save up to $1,000 on select mattress purchases. Plus, get 0% interest for five years on in-store purchases. Only at Ashley. Looking for a new job and worried about acing the interview? On CBS Morning's LinkedIn career expert, Katherine Fisher offered advice to help job seekers stand out. She says your number one job during the interview is to sell yourself. You want to go in there and you want to ask really smart questions. You want to be prepared. You want to know more about the company. You want to take notes and you want to have a conversation. This is not the time to be acting cool and aloof. You want to be really engaged with that conversation. Fisher says the biggest interview blunders include showing up late, using foul language, appearing disinterested, looking at your phone during the interview, and dressing inappropriately. The Commerce Department now reports that the U.S. economy grew 3% last quarter, revised up from its initial number of 2.8%. The agency says consumer spending and business investment accounted for the jump in GDP. This comes as the conference board also said U.S. consumer confidence rose slightly in August compared to last month. X, the platform formerly known as Twitter, says it will officially shut its San Francisco headquarters on September 13th. Owner Elon Musk had announced earlier this year that the company would move to Texas over state laws regarding transgender students. The social media company first opened its doors in San Francisco back in 2006. And Royal Caribbean has announced plans to rebuild three more megaships, like its Icon of the Seas, which is the largest cruise ship in the world. The Icon sister ship, Star of the Seas, is expected to set sail from Florida next summer. An unnamed third ship is on schedule to launch in 2026. Royal Caribbean currently has 68 ships in its fleet. 
That wraps up your afternoon consumer news. As we head to break, here's a live look at the New York Stock Exchange. Stay with us. More news is next. During the Labor Day sale going on now at PM Sleep Center, you can save up to $800 on select Stearns and Foster adjustable mattress sets. Your next mattress is at PM Sleep Center, giving lacrosse a good night's sleep for over 35 years. I'm Eric Hovde, and I approve this message. There's a side of Eric Hovde you might not know. In his 20s, he was diagnosed with MS, and in that moment, his life and priorities changed. Eric started Hovde Homes. Hovde Homes rescue abandoned children from sex trafficking and slavery. For children who never experienced real love, Hovde Homes offer the love, care, and support they need to heal. MS changed Eric's life, and thousands of children are alive today because of it. This is a hallway. It doesn't evoke much feeling, but to those facing cancer or a complex condition, it feels like relief. Because all the doctors, treatments, and technology you've been fighting to find, they're all right here, under one roof, connected by hallways instead of highways. East Park Medical Center, coming soon. UW Health, remarkable. Mo, dig, haul, trench. The reliable Kubota BX Series subcompact tractor is highly capable. A smooth hydrostatic transmission makes for easy operation and versatile attachments that help you handle the job. The Kubota BX Series, rated number one in durability and owner experience. Talk to your Kubota dealer to schedule a demo. Visit any of your local Johnson Tractor dealerships in Menominee, Baldwin, Osseo, and Arcadia. During the Labor Day sale going on now at PM Sleep Center, you can save up to $800 on select Stearns and Foster adjustable mattress sets. Your next mattress is at PM Sleep Center, giving lacrosse a good night's sleep for over 35 years. A new study shows women who use hormone therapy during menopause are biologically younger than those who do not. Researchers studied more than 100,000 women in the UK and found hormone therapy slowed their biological age, which is a measure of how quickly your cells and tissues are aging. It might also help explain previous findings between hormone therapy and lower mortality risks. As CBS News medical contributor Dr. Celine Gounder explains, the benefits of hormone therapy were even greater for women of lower socioeconomic status. Aging is also a reflection of your day-to-day -day stress. So when we talk about somebody having lived a hard life, it's not just a question of smoking or heavy drinking or using drugs. It's also the day-to-day -day stress of financial stress, uh, worried about keeping a roof over your head, food on the table, your children's futures. And that stress also ages you. Women with a history of breast cancer or blood clots cannot take hormone therapy. The study also did not examine the dose or type of home hormone therapy patients used. Climate change may lead to a rise in foodborne illnesses. That's the findings of a study published by the American Society for Microbiology. They found that increased humidity is making it easier for the salmonella bacteria to thrive on plants. Salmonella already affects 1.2 million people in the United States annually. Heart experts say there's an important medical check that's often been neglected. New research from Poland shows measuring your lipoprotein levels can help prolong your life. Lipoprotein levels are determined by genetics and they can show whether you're at risk for heart attack, stroke, or other cardiovascular diseases. Doctors say routinely checking those levels can help catch diseases early. If you catch up on sleep on the weekends, it turns out you're helping lower your risk of heart disease. A study by the European Society of Cardiology found people who don't get enough sleep during the week but get more sleep on the weekends had a 19% lower chance of heart disease. Ideally, though, doctors say you should get at least seven hours of sleep every night. Those were some of today's health headlines. Here's a look at CityCam 8. Artisan next with our forecast. Right now, it's the Labor Day sale at Home Furniture. Get up to an extra 10% off sale prices like this two-piece sectional for just $1,299 after discount. Or pay no interest for three years during the Labor Day sale. Going on now at Home Furniture. 
never should have happened. The Waukesha Christmas Parade attack. Six Wisconsinites mowed down by Daryl Brooks. Just days earlier, Brooks was arrested for trying to run over his girlfriend with the very same car. But Brooks was released on a $1,000 bail. Senator Tammy Baldwin voted against increased funding for pretrial detention of violent criminals, making it easier for criminals like Daryl Brooks to terrorize our communities. Tell Senator Baldwin, violent criminals belong behind bars. Hot tubs, hot tubs, hot tubs. The Hot Tub and Pool Expo is at Hot Springs Spas and Pools in Onalaska. This Labor Day weekend only. Truckloads of hot tubs from major brands like Hot Spring and Caldera Hot Tubs. Hot tubs as low as $79 a month. 0% financing. Save thousands. End of season savings on all above ground pools starting at $140 a month. Swim spas up to $10,000 off. Saunas starting at $59 a month. Hot tubs, swim spas, saunas, and above ground pools up to 40% off. This weekend only at Hot Springs Spas and Pools in Onalaska. SpaExpoLacrosse.com. Everybody Ho-Chunk Gaming Black River Falls presents Slaughter with Quiet Riot. Come on, feel the noise. An explosive night of live rock and roll. Friday, October 25th. Slaughter with Quiet Riot. $60 tickets include $15 free rewards play. Slaughter and Quiet Riot together. Friday, October 25th. Exclusively at Ho-Chunk Gaming Black River Falls. Right now at Homeworld Rugs, get 15% off area rug sale prices. Discover a stunning array of patterns, sizes, and shapes with expert guidance in every showroom to ensure you find your perfect rug. 15% off area rugs going on now at Homeworld Rugs. Clear Choice Window and Home Solutions, your choice for quality, affordable windows installed by our experienced team. Contact us or stop into our showroom today for your free estimate. The News 8 Plus app, local news on your time. Well, good afternoon to you and happy Friday. Mild conditions and milder conditions going into the next couple of days here as we go through today. 76 to 81 degrees. Your local temperature is going to Saturday. We're looking at 81 to 86 degrees. How about uh, Sunday, though? That's when the cooler air starts to work in the forecast. Sunday is going to have widespread 70s for you from 72 to 77 degrees. And then Monday, 72 to 78 degrees. It's going to be nice, and it's going to continue on all the way into next week as well. Hey, dry conditions are going to ensue as this area of low pressure begins to cut out to the east and that means sunnier skies as well. We'll see that later on today progressing into the uh, forecast for you as that sun right over Eau Claire and of course uh, areas right here by La Crosse begin to pick up even more so. But if you're heading out for vacation, take a look at all that rainfall down in the southern tier of the United States. That's just not letting up. That's going to stick with us all the way from Saturday going into su Sunday as well and quite possibly into <laughs> into your Monday and that means maybe travel a bit a little, be a little bit more difficult as you're trying to get out there with all that rainfall there may be some delays but up to the northern tier we're holding on to dry and sunny skies in fact in the middle portion you're going to have some big heat coming out of the great basin that's that bridge is going to continue to build and that's going to bring in some heat for a lot of folks out there in fact uh, some folks over in colorado they picked up a little bit of snow just uh over yesterday in fact in fact as we go into it here you're going to see the outlook's going to show us we're going to hold on to at least some better looking conditions especially out west you're going to hold on to that that mild then and eventually into the, to the cooler side you can see the cool coming in right about now as that trough starts to drop right back in out of Canada. And then as we go right into Saturday, you'll see warmer air start to scoot a little bit more to the West Coast. And that's still mild here, but you're holding on to humid humidity down to the south, the southern tier of the nation, getting into the Gulf and into Texas and areas uh, all the way into Arizona. You're holding on some heat right there, dry heat there. Take it into Monday, though, for Labor Day. You're seeing that cooler air start to slip away just a little bit. And gradually, we'll see temperatures warming up going into the tail end of uh, next week. All right, that being said, away we go. Here we go. The temperatures here getting into the 70s widespread. Cloud cover will start to wane as we go deeper into the afternoon. 3 o'clock, we're looking at mostly sunny skies. Then eventually, mostly clear skies will ensue for La Crosse. And, of course, Eau Claire will already be there. We'll get back into the overnight hours with clearing skies. And as you take it into tomorrow, you're looking at maybe a golf morning. You're looking at perhaps uh, temperatures in the 60s for you to the lower 50s. And not too bad, right? And then once we get into the afternoon, you're looking at at least uh, the upper 70s in some cases. And then we'll continue on with temperatures getting 
getting into the low 80s. In fact, we'll see mostly widespread 80s going through Saturday. A little touch of rainfall kind of sweeping by as you go through Saturday night, but won't really affect anything up in areas by Ladysmith. They're looking at at least maybe a sprinkle or two. 76 degrees to about 78. The temperature looks like they're dropping down a little bit because that cloud cover we had. We'll see them get to possibly 80 over there in Boscoville, though. In fact, we'll hold on to temperatures as we go through the uh, latter portion of your afternoon and into your evening hours. We're looking at temperatures widespread to the 70s, then some slow to middle 80s. All right, that being said, we take a look here for Saturday and Sunday and Monday. Man, it's looking great out there, so get out there and enjoy it if you can. Get to the river, get to the lakes if you're not going anywhere. Maybe even go to the library and actually get out if it's open. Maybe not on sat on Monday, but maybe on Saturday and Sunday. Get a chance to stay cool. And then once you go into the next few days, away we go with temperatures from 78 to 85 degrees. A whole lot of sunshine, Michael. We're looking at conditions with more sunshine coming in for Sunday and Monday. And that will continue all the way into the end of next week where we see Monday, excuse me, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday will be a 10% chance of rainfall. Nothing. No, no big deal at all. I'm really looking forward to those warmer temperatures as it kind of starts to feel like fall as we yeah. creep into September here. Says the Michigan man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you all for right. that art. Sure. Well, the wildlife photographer of the year finalists are revealed and a rare combo in the clouds is caught on camera. Coming up in today's Take a Look at This right after this. Huge selection of rugs and art under the white tent in the Valley View Mall parking lot. Multiple sizes, including brown rugs and so much more. Hurry, don't miss this. My day is packed. Client meetings. Patient rounds. Getting kids out the door. But Eric Hubby thinks all women care about is Hollywood. It's just uh, deplorable. Sadly, with, you know, females, they spend too much time focused on what's going on in Hollywood. Well, guess what, Eric Humpty? We know you supported overturning Roe versus Wade. And we know you'd vote for a national abortion ban, too. Eric Hubdy must think he knows better than us. What is wrong with this guy? I'm Tammy Baldwin, and I approve this message. Whatever you were thinking, think bigger. It's the King Furniture Labor Day Sale. Bigger selection and bigger discounts. Get up to 60% off the biggest names in furniture and 0% financing. Whoa, now that's big. Shop our huge inventory of in-stock furniture and have it in your home quick with free delivery. You won't want to miss this. It's the Labor Day Sale going on now at King Furniture. It's Hy-Vee's Labor Day Grill-Out Sale. This Friday through Monday, fresh ground beef, just $2.99 a pound. Mouthwatering New York strips, just $5.88. Six-pack bottles of Pepsi products, just $3.48. party size Frito-Lay snacks, queso or salsa, just $3.98. Juicy, whole, seedless watermelon, just $2.99 each. And Hy-Vee hamburger or hot dog buns, just a dollar. Save in-store and online, Friday through Monday, only at Hy-Vee. Huge selection of rugs and art under the white tent in the Valley View Mall parking lot. Inventory is priced to sell, so stop in today. Hurry, don't miss this. A collection of the best of the best photography entries are competing for the top spot in a prestigious competition and offer a look at the wild side of the world. Jeremy Roth has a look at Take a Look at This. Feast your eyes on the absolute cream of the crop of wondrous wildlife images captured from all corners of the world. It's just a taste of a collection of highly commended images making up the final round of the 2024 Wildlife Photographer of the Year competition. Put on by the Natural History Museum London, the fantastical finalist images were whittled down from nearly 60,000 submitted entries, a new record for the competition from photographers of all ages and experience levels from 117 countries. Highlight include a breathtakingly serene forest moment that looks like something out of a fairy tale, a terrifying stare down from a vicious predator protecting its precious catch, a bird's eye view of a glacier so massive the final image had to be stitched together from 26 separate frames, and this solemn sight of a deceased deer covered in frost on a forest floor, the first ever photo taken with a smartphone to be given a highly commended honor in the contest. All entries were judged by a panel on their creativity, originality, and technical excellence, and are vying for the top honors in multiple categories. Winners will be announced on October 8th, and 100 photographs from the competition will then headline an exhibition at London's Natural History Museum.
While they weren't entered in any contests, at least, not yet, but a collection of stunning views captured in the stormy skies over Minnesota show a rarely seen combination of a full arching rainbow and crackling lightning bolts. Severe weather pushed rain and wind through the Minneapolis area, bringing with it eerie colors in the clouds, but it was the rare pair of spectacles up there that had cameras in hands and eyes on the skies. For Take a Look at This, I'm Jeremy Roth. Some of those pictures just absolutely breathtaking and beautiful will stay with us. We'll have one more check of your forecast when we return. This Labor Day weekend only, the Hot Tub and Pool Expo is at Hot Springs Spas and Pools in Onalaska. Endless pools up to $10,000 off. Above ground pools starting at $140 a month. Hot tubs, swim spas, saunas, and above ground pools up to 40% off. This weekend only at Hot Springs Spas and Pools in Onalaska. I'm Donald J. Trump, and I approve this message. Everyday prices are too high. Food, rent, gas, back to school clothes. That is called Bidenomics. A loaf of bread costs 50% more today. Ground beef is up almost 50%. There's not much left at the end of the month. Bidenomics is working. The price of housing has gone up. It feels so hard to just be able to get ahead. And we are very proud of Bidenomics. Make your weekends unforgettable with help from Menards. Whether you're soaking up the sun or relaxing indoors, we have what you need for a good time. From creating the perfect place to entertain family and friends to stocking up on your favorite essentials, Menards is your one-stop shop for your next adventure. Check out all the hot deals happening now. Save big money at Menards. It's a Labor Day celebration. Go on going right now here at Carl's. We have hot buys throughout the store. Save up to 45% on major appliances. Buy a Samsung four-piece kitchen package and get this 55-inch TV free. All TVs are on sale. All grills are priced to move. Save up to $900 on Serta iComfort mattresses and up to 70% on in-stock TV stands and consoles. It's a Labor Day celebration going on right now here at Carl's. Carl's your servicing dealer since 1956. Hot tubs, hot tubs, hot tubs. The Hot Tub and Pool Expo is at Hot Springs Spas and Pools in Onalaska. This Labor Day weekend only. Huge discounts on Hot Spring and Caldera Hot Tubs. Hot tubs as low as $79 a month. Hot tubs, swim spas, saunas, and above ground pools up to 40% off. This weekend only at Hot Springs Spas and Pools in Onalaska. Well, your highs for this Friday, looking at 76 to about 80 degrees out there. And the winds will be very light, taking it into Saturday. We're going to see maybe a few degrees warmer, right into the 70s and 80s going into next week as well. Get out and enjoy. We want to thank you for joining us. Have a great weekend, everyone.